Okay, we're on the next day now, and I'm just about to put these on the mill. I've marked them all up, ready for the with the horizontal pillars are going to go into these holes. So there's a slightly larger bore for the ends of the pillars to lock into, and then I'm going to go for a six mil hole straight through, which the uh, M6 bolts are going to go into. Okay, so here are all the pillars all finished off. So they are all drilled and then counter drilled to a slightly larger diameter. And then I take the one inch bar, I'm gonna turn that down for the top holes and that one inch bar slides into that hole there onto a shoulder. Uh, and then it screws in from behind and that's where your uh, plates, the frame plates go along from the top on this side. And then they screw into there, in through to the bar. Okay, anyway, uh, let's get on with making those. To excuse the banging in the background, it's bonfire night, so that's what you can hear in the background. Okay, so there's the pillars in position. They're not screwed up yet, so nice tight fit as they are anyway. Um, but as soon as we get the screws and these threaded in the middle, then that'll uh, pull them together quite nicely. And obviously then we'll have the frames in between those. Okay, so anyway, that's the uh, corner frames and uh, pillars all done. So it's now on to the brass cross strips. Okay, we're going to start the frames. Um, uh, the frames are two inch brass uh, plate. And they should actually be one and three quarters. So we're going to use this slitting saw. It's not quite protruding six mil, so... Uh, it's the only one I've got, so I'm going to give it a go. I've marked out quarter inch and set my height with the DRO on the mill. So we're going to set this off now, see how uh, well trammed my mill is. Okay, well, we're all the way through. Let's that balance back on. We're all the way off. That's weird. Ah, oh, just threw at that end. A little bit of a lip. Fantastic, not bad. Yeah, it's just got a little bit of a, a, a an edge on there. But other than that, fairly good finish. I'm well happy with that. I've, uh, I'm going to be honest, I've not used a slitting saw very often. And... Uh, that was quite new for me, so really pleased how long, how well that's gone for such a long length and having to move it. Okay, and thanks for the guys on Mod, Mad Modder for uh, suggesting that. I'm just getting on with uh, cutting the cross frames now, the long lengths. Um, I've already obviously uh, cut the strip off the edge. I've now marked them out for the six M6 holes at the end. There's also this off-centre larger hole. Um, which is cut, cut through into, or slotted I should say, uh, there. So basically what I'm doing now is I've just drilled one hole, clamped it all together, drilled one hole and I've screwed that up and bolted it in place just to hold it in place. I've got it clamped at the other end and I'm drilling the other one. This is quite important that it is accurate obviously, uh, but it is going to be the dowel pins that hold it square on the frame. So let's get cutting that. Okay, so this is where I've got up to tonight. I've managed to screw the two cross members across and bolt that to the pillars and the posts. And it's really sturdy, really sturdy. And it's bigger than I thought in a weird sort of way. I appreciate it's a tower clock. Um, I know it's described as a small tower clock, but it is pretty big. I, mean, I don't know whether you can get a perspective of that with the size of my hand, but it's a good couple of hands in length, 14 inches. Uh, and a good width, what, three, four, five, five inches wide. Um, so yeah, 14 uh, by 14 and a half by five inch. Yep, anyway, it's looking nice and solid, no rocking. Um, I'm really pleased with that. So next step now, uh, I have got a bit of a problem here in that the specified drill size for that hole is just leaning over looking at the plans. 
11 sixteenths of an inch and I haven't got a drill that size um, so I'm going to struggle doing that I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that yet uh, so I'm going to move on now though to the next components which I believe we're going to be starting looking at some of the wheels I think okay see you next time which will probably be a few days from now